Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Carthage. In the previous episode we captured, captured Shanghai and today I want to move our navy uh, to Gengzhou and start another siege. And other than that, well, pretty much the same thing, make sure that our happiness doesn't drop too low, try to improve our income and... Uh, yeah, we'll just take it turn by turn and see uh, how far we can get today. Before we end this turn, there are still a few things that we can do. Uh, here we have some Chinese ships that we might be able to destroy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll start with that ironclad that is a guaranteed kill, although I'll just move slowly in case there are some more ships waiting behind these two. So far, so good. So, yeah, let's let's risk it. Still don't see any more ships. And now we can send some more. Check what's down here. Okay, we can't move through uh, this passage. Never mind. And it's another dead cruiser. Maybe I should have first moved. The iron claw to the north. Stay a bit farther away from the city. And I think I'll just take Cherson. Uh, there shouldn't be a problem with strength 20. And uh, four iron clods. It should go down pretty quick. Actually, five iron clods. I think I'll send maybe one more. move forward a bit and uh, have enough money for an upgrade maybe one more I really should invest the money that we have into upgrades because we are ahead tech-wise, but our units are behind. So I'm not investing into them. So let's try to change that. And I think that's all for this turn. Uh, yeah, whatever. Was quite a lot of damage. Any man okay, combustion. So we now can see oil. What else? Not much real extra production from mines and lumber mills is nice. Okay, and uh, this is a great merchant. Good. So one thing at a time. Should probably get extra cover. We are somehow taking damage. What is hitting that field gun? Extra range Gatling gun. Now nah, that can't be extra range. Okay, oil. Uh, this looks good. We have oil here. Three, four, so that's 12 uh, from the sea so far. This and this. Okay, so that's three. Uh, in the sea, it's always four, I think. So that's what, 17. This is nice, 24. There was one more. That's 31 oil. Well, 
finally a resource uh, that we won't have to worry about too much. How are we gonna do it? This we can start working on immediately. Back to that oil. Let's take care of that first. How much money do we have? Should be enough. One work boat. Another work boat. And I think the last one was yeah, here. Let's risk it, I'll send this worker uh, to fix that, whatever that might be, probably a village. Four turns, but we have a worker in our capital, so let's send him to hook up seven oil here, and this one can then head north, because this is just three. How much is this? Three as well. Yeah. Uh, this is not a big deal. Oh, here, uh, here is the new citizen. Uh, this actually doesn't have that much production, so maybe let's actually lock that. And I think Shanghai should have enough production. Uh, this is a manufacturing, I think. There are some mines. Well, it's actually one mine, but there are some forests, quite a few forests actually. We'll definitely be working these academies once we fix them. But yeah, I think Shanghai will be fine. Marco has global monopoly on coal. Global monopoly, that's 50%. So now we know where all the coal was. The initiative of Ribe has revolted. It's actually a city that Denmark never, never flipped. Okay, good job, Denmark. Losing cities that shouldn't have any problems at all. Maybe if you ignore Denmark, they'll just fall apart and we'll then... Uh, conquer lonely Copenhagen. Mm, okay, let's send this guy south. Even with that Fusilier, could use more units probably in this RL. I'll move back. Hey, I can't move there. Uh, that's cheating. I have to move back. Can I attack? I should be able to attack here. No, I can't attack. Um, let's move back then. At least I can reorganize those cruisers a little bit. I want the more experienced ones to the front. Stay 
near the coast. So far, so good. Try to stay a bit farther away. I'm hoping that the Gatling gun will try to move away, get home. I'll be able to catch him, kill him. Wait, wait. And we have one more Admiral and Ironclad waiting here. Okay. Send him south as well. And now... First of all, let's pillage the horses. And these are the easy attacks. Oh, I don't have money to upgrade the facility. That is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Love to kill the Gatling gun because I'd take out the great general with it. It does look like a kill. Okay. Now that's some damage from this Gatling gun and the field gun, but we should be able to survive that. I don't see anything else that would be close enough to, it, to attack the mercenary. This guy can now move back. Should probably. Make sure that the Kerasir doesn't die. Can I think all of this can move together with the Great General. Okay, fortify, fortify, fortify. Do need healing. Um, what if I? I'd love to upgrade this fusilier, but can't. Fortify. Okay, so how does it look like here? Nothing interesting. We have a minefield around Xeon. So, 
won't be able to attack the city anymore. Really? And let's actually send <clears throat> these two submarines to the other side. I'll ignore the uh, the Inquisitor. There is nothing to the south. Wait. Okay. Next. Um. Moving. Yeah, whatever. Being important. This looks quite good. We didn't take almost any damage. Uh, you want silk. Do I have enough silk? I do. Uh, would you say no to global liberation? Yeah, probably not. Okay. And have my silk. That's too far. Seems that starting new cities is a bad idea. Just lock another sea tile. I'm thinking about locking some uh, engineer slots, but. I think we are fine. Get as much vision as possible around the coast. Maybe some extra vision down here. Probably a bad idea, going that close to the city. I want to know if there are any reinforcements coming from this side, and I want to be able to stop anything that may try and move in between these two cities. Or... Okay. Be fine. This is a hail, right? Yep.
Okay, let's just try to get through as fast as possible. And I will then heal the fleet once we are on the other side with the Great Admiral. Otherwise, this would take forever. Five, six. Now, this ironclad is gonna stay with the fleet. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the Gatling gun from here? Yeah, I think so. Let's get ready for next turn, then we attack the city with everything. Also should have... four, seven, one more ironclad available. Let's quickly heal that worker I hate when I have uh, injured workers. It doesn't mean anything, I just don't like it. Uh, fortify, and move, start repairs. Fortify. One, two, attack, move back. Might be a kill. One, two, three. Great. It was a nice catch. That's indirect fire. Um, I think I'll move back and let them come to me. What have I done? Misclicked? How unusual. All I wanted to do was to move this plus one range field guns closer. Okay, in that case, we'll just move everything closer. Fortify, fortify. Now you need healing and another worker. We need repairs all the way south. Let's send him there. I think I will use the Fusilier as a replacement for the mercenary and send him uh, south. Need strong frontline units. Fortify. We need one more workboat. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, check one more thing. We have. Yeah, let's buy one more Inquisitor. Should 
completely remove religious divisions. And I think then I'll save up for another great prophet because we'll have two more cities that uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to flip with the great prophet. Also, our happiness is dropping. We are on 15 war weariness and it's still going up. So I may have to just take uh, Gangju, peace out, and then take the rest. Is unfortunate, but yeah, I don't think I can take four more cities with war weariness rising. Okay, go. Uh, I start working on that well. Oh, she's willing to capitulate. That is a surprise. I definitely refuse for now. But that opens up uh, some more options. Oh, I'm all that mercenary almost died. No, I don't want to work the farm. We can afford to either work another specialist. How are we looking? Or how are we doing on a great scientist? Quite bad. Great engineer. We could speed that up. Right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we lose too much food. Now let's just find out how much... Or how many turns you to shave off? Uh, just it's just stagnation. Okay, that's fine then. Once we uh, have the great engineer, I'll probably switch to like the mine and maybe these two farms to see tiles to get a little bit of extra gold, something like that. Poverty boredom. This reduces poverty. Okay, let's go for hospital. We're done with the stock exchange. Why am I even looking? It's always the same thing. Get the broadcast tower, it will take quite a while. But I want to save money for unit upgrades now. Maybe let's get the policy first or policy tenant. It's very tempting to go for the great leap forward, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, with the current uh, proposals in the World Congress and uh, and the fact that the golden age ends in 10 turns we are not making that much money uh what can happen is that we uh, lose all our vassals we have to make sure that uh, we can survive on our own so let's go for party leadership and we'll just delay the great leap forward also the happiness is not that high if i uh, enter information error now we will lose uh, quite a lot of happiness. I would say like half of what we currently have. If we want to uh, conquer more cities, that's probably a bad idea. So let's uh, play it safe and uh, get party leadership. Still thinking about it. It would be so nice getting those, uh, getting those battleships and uh, <clears throat> all the increased yields in information era, but I probably can't afford to do that. Yes, now we are on 63 happiness, that looks pretty good, almost 500 gold per turn, all the yields are now much better, 
I think this was a better move. Anything interesting? No, not really. I probably don't want to go far there. Or maybe I can do one more tile. And that might have been a mistake. Try go back, stay hidden. Eight. Ah, come on, let's click. Quite a few units. China has land ships. Um, I mean, it's not a surprise that they have access to the unit, and just a bit surprising they uh, have some of them on the map. Clear the path. I have to block the city. Hopefully there are no ranch units or at least not too many of them. Wait, wait. Fortify. Mm. Thinking if I can somehow kill at least one more Gatling gun. Well, this one doesn't even have uh, a logistics. One, two. It really feels like this one is a bait. And move forward with the kill, move back. Come on. I want to fix the academy as soon as possible. Oh, no way. That's what? Like two or three hit points again? Well, luckily, we have a Kerasir. We can even upgrade now. Here is. Another upgrade, and uh, let's move around the coast, because that's faster. I want more units to the south. E. I want to send some field guns. I can land here. Have a shield or like a melee units in front. I can have four plus one range field guns on these tiles and have melee units standing here protecting them. 
Probably should do that. Can we find enough melee units for that? Send the mercenary, oh, he's almost uh, ready. He'll use the field gun, it's uh, a new field gun anyway, so probably won't be able to hit anything for quite a while. I'll use or use send one general south as well. Fortify. Now I have to find some extra melee units. Fortify. And we want to liberate the city. This is perfect because we don't have to worry about a uh, city like this. It's really horrible. And it will hurt Byzantium because they will be getting all the unhappiness from it. Send this ironclad back. The rest can stay here. Maybe we can even explore this area. Wait, and uh, also I'll try to catch these two units. They'll probably try to make it home somehow. I should be able to get rid of them. Okay, 12 oil. How far away are we from flight? Nine turns. But the question now is, do we uh, keep uh, using money on upgrades, or do we save up for uh, some... That's the question, what do we want? We want both, bombers and, uh, and some fighters, or triplanes first, of course. Because I think I may want some air defense around Gondar and Addis Ababa against... Uh, uh, against Marco, and then bombers mm, for China, or basically for any offensive war. I am gonna need some more upgrades for the melee units here. Well, let's end the turn. Uh, no, I don't want to fight. I just liberated your city. Start... I mean, stop bitching. How am I, how am I even supposed to I, go away when I used all my units to capture the city and then I was kicked uh, like right behind the border, right? That's stupid. Oh, you are not getting oil. You are not getting any tax. Unless you are willing to say no to global liberation. It's 
looks pretty scary. The land chip supporting by uh, logistics, Gatling gun, or a bad idea. Fine. That should be heal for 30. So I think I will survive the next attack. All the tank units have to start moving. Fortify. I don't want to move the cavalry too far. Wait, wait. Six. I can land down here and upgrade before I uh, move to the mainland. Or six. Okay, ships. I'll take that. Can I still attack? I can. I should have attacked this iron cloud, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh. And uh, Shangdong now has uh, minefield. Um, let's move back. We'll also have to move back. This is probably a little bit greedy. But I hope that submarine will survive. I don't think anything can see this up. Should be fine. Well, let's just send some reinforcements this way. Wait, all the way to the border. Fortify, fortify. will do at least some damage finally. How many hit points does the city have? 1500, yeah, that may take a while since we are doing 10 damage per shot. Okay, 
Wait, wait. Fortify, fortify. Wait. Too many units. I'll stick around, make sure that I can catch the Gatling gun at least. It's another logistics Gatling gun, so that's something I shouldn't let go. Wait. Okay. Anything we can upgrade? No, I don't see anything. Next turn. And I entered Atomic Era. It looks good. They don't have, it seems they don't have enough range units to really cause problems. I can move freely in this area, but I can't move freely around Shangdong. Let's try to move. Maybe I should have killed the rifleman. Yeah, here is definitely a minefield. Fortify. might be a bad idea with that iron clod no. just play it safe it's not worth losing a submarine fortify 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 oh nice another splash damage Cruiser. That's a long time on the scientist. How are we doing happiness wise? Actually solves the ultra so why not? We have enough food. For the happiness, it's worth it. Wait, wait, wait. How much damage can we do to the land ship? Enough. Just get out of here. I'll need some more room to move uh, the army through. I get vision from this tile? I can. Nice. Or six. I'm thinking about killing this Gatling gun, but 
running into the unknown usually is not a good idea. Yeah, that's not good enough. This has to be safe. Just one Gatling gun. There might be some field guns coming, plus the city bombardment range, but that should be fine. We won't take any damage. And let's keep moving all those plus one range field guns. Uh, upgrade. We'll wait here, there will be next upgrade, there will be an upgrade after that. We'll wait here to disembark next turn. Wait. Fortify. Let's move the cavalry back just in case. Gatling is that uh, with indirect fire. Fly. I think we have enough workers heading south. Okay, now our fleet. Do we want to kill those units first? Make it easier for our uh, land units to move into position. That might be a good idea. I can't hit these. I can at least get rid of one rifleman. Why not? Let's not move on to this tile, in case they decide to send ships. And I can use all the attacks. Wait. Actually, no. Send these ironclads north. We will need um, replacement for this one, and also we could use some healthier ships in this RM. Fortify. Possible. They're trying to escape this way. Yep. Or can kill this one. The other one can't run away anymore. This is basically just exploration. Hopefully we won't run into too many ships. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I 
think we are done for today or for this episode next time let's check uh war awareness yeah it's going up even if i'm not uh, or when i'm not losing units that's bad so we have to take gangshu as fast as possible and then we have to peace out and the question is mm, what are we gonna do after that it's china nine tax 50 uh, it's still the most advanced sev i can think about these things off camera um oh hello there is one more uh one more unit that we can kill get a little bit of extra money yeah, but that will be definitely all for today now. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.